In this video, I will show you uh, a few tricks you can use uh, in, with Mongo Shell. First of all, I want to show you how, how I access my Mongo Shell. So here is it, Mongo minus minus no DB. And when you type Mongo minus minus no DB, that means that Mongo will run without any database object defined, which means that you can do nothing until you can you define that object. But here you can see that I've connected to some host to some port and my database is admin. So also when I type db, you see that, that you can see that that variable has a value which is admin. So the current database I'm using is the admin database. Why this is happening in my shell and will not happen in your shell until you will do this guys. Here is the my mongo rc file which is located in, in users directory, in my case the roots directory. First of all I've defined the editor variable. I use this for for telling mongo that for for example long variables I want to use vim to edit the values of that variables. This is being done because in some cases the variables may have multi-line values and that's inconvenient to modify that values in Mongo's shell which is single line shell. Okay, let's go forward. I have defined a KPI function which takes three arguments, host, port and db name. And when uh, the argument host, host is not being passed it takes the default value of mroot01 string which is uh, mongo s server and actually and because of that it sees the, all the mongo servers in the cluster but in you can define the the server you want to connect to with kpi function this is the default port number and again you can modify this because of this syntax i've used in my javascript file and the default database you are going to be connected is the admin database. This is safe because to do something that uh, potentially har harmful, you should authenticate in Mongo. Actually, it's not mandatory. You can uh, choose to not enable the, the user authentication, which is, which is uh, generally bad, let's say so. So after all these things, I create a connection string, host name, then semicolon, then port and slash db name and return the db object to Mongo. When I call this function, uh, a connection with these parameters is being created and I can use. But as you can see, uh, there is no evident place I'm calling this function, but when I run my mongo shell, I have the shell, I have the db variable defined, defined and let's see why this happens in my shell. Here, here I have a line which, uh, which is created to uh, protect, protect by accidental drops of database collections and collection indexes. Why, what, what happens here? Generally you use db drop database or DB proto prototype drop database command when you uh, type when you want to drop the database and I'm making this function a bogus function which prints vates achberes which which in Armenian means are you okay bro I will show you how this work how does this work okay let's use test and say DB drop database and sorry for typo db drop database it doesn't drop the database it says what is address which means that are you sure that you want to drop the database and so on so you can't drop the drop any collection and you can't drop any index it will my shell will say what is after every time I want to do one of these three things. But instead of DB, I use KPI because before 
be without this I have to I have to call this function ex explicitly let let me show what I mean when I call Mongo with the no DB argument it says that no DB object is being defined and I can cannot do anything because DB is not defined and I have to call this, this function manually and only after then I can use anything in Mongo so this is this line is why I am not forced to call the KPI function this assignment does the job for me so we this function is is very simple function I'm not going to explain anything here and as I said to to do something harmful or to perform administrative ta tasks you should have to uh, authenticate in my cluster and this is a you can you can you can say message of the day or a helper string which says how that can be done uh, if you are attentive you can notice that instead of this we can use also db because db is being defined explicitly before because of this assignment line what else i have here i'm modifying my prompt let's let me show you something guys in mongo when you say prompt is equal to something that something becomes your prompt string and i use this function i wrote this function actually i'm not the author of this function uh, i grabbed this from a very good book mongodb definitive guide second edition and this function uh, makes makes some few cool things possible first of all when db is not defined it in the shell i see no db and when some database is def when db object is de defined and has some value i see that value on the prompt on the place of prompt because of this of this command here return database concatenated to db objects value and with this sign in the end so when I go here and use test I see that database test is being used when I do use admin I see that database admin is being used so for example if I want to drop the test database and uh, for example when I when I'm allowed to do that I will see what database I am actually dropping so this is this is no sorry let me show you one more thing uh, this is also convenient convenient because I can use this function to go to my my servers for example I want to connect to this server I I use that I use that KPI function when I I want to connect to another server I use the same same function and everything work works everything is cool okay this is all, all I wanted to show you guys if you have any suge suggestions questions uh, feel free to comment this video and subscribe to my channel for new videos thanks